Hi, this is Anthony from West Coast Custom Concrete, Bobcat Service, and Concrete Pumping. This video I'm doing on is concrete pumping. Um, this is an Olin 545, a 3 8 P gravel pump. Right here I'm putting the reducer on in the 90. Um, we'll be pumping a footing today. This is a 2-inch hose. I run a 2.5 off the pump, and then I reduce it down to a 2-inch hose. So it's easier to work with. I'm winding out. I'm just pumping a footing today so it doesn't really matter what slump I pump it at because they're just going to wet set it put the first block in just winding the hose out this pump this 40 uh, Olin 545 will basically pump anything a one sack slurry 5000 psi here I am that's a two and a half inch hose those are um, 25 footers the two inch hose are 50 footers so I have 125 feet of hose out so this job's pretty much just a piece of cake slam dunk so i have two 50 foot rolls and a 25 foot roll just rolling it out here uh there's two kinds of hoses you can get the ends you can get victrolic ends or heavy duty ends i use heavy duty because it it lasts so much longer they don't wear out as much just gonna clamp everything up here that's a Two and a half to two inch reducer, heavy duty both ends. Just hooking the system up. Sometimes these clamps, when you let them sit, they get tight if you don't chip the concrete out of them, which I generally don't keep up on it the way I should, but. They'll clamp up. This one's a little tight. Here's Olin. You want to um, run the volume, how fast you're pumping with the RPM. And that's a piston in the back that shoves air in with the concrete. So the line won't move. It'll, it won't surge. I put a little oil back there, a little diesel, because the seats in the back of my pump are worn out. And I don't want it to stick. And it'll only hit on one side and not the other. So I just put a little oil back there, and it'll it'll... Both of them hit at the same time. I got to change them. I just haven't got to it. That's the volume, how fast you're going to pump. And then that's how much air you put on the line, depending on what slump, how far you're pumping, how much air you put on the line so it won't move and surge. You'll just lay there. And then you fill up your hose, you put uh, the back of your hopper. You put about five gallons of water back there to prime the line in front of the concrete. Otherwise, you'll plug up. You'll plug the whole system up. Unless you prime it with water. These Olin pumps don't hold the prime, so you got to put it on a stick and hold it till the concrete comes in and then drop the stick. Drop the line down when the mud comes in the pump. Should be coming any second here. I've basically been doing this for 20 years. This is my forte. I got uh, bobcats and dump trucks, but concrete pumping is mainly what I've done. And Olin pumps are, are just bulletproof. I'm just pumping the footing here. Once you get it at the beginning, the height that you can eyeball when you've been doing it long enough, the whole footing without the guy following you with a laser. Pumping this thing out pretty slow. Just I'm just basically, there's, there's no one there to help me with the hose or nothing. So I'm basically a bit come accustomed to pull it myself and not really depend on anyone. I've done it so much that I just pull it myself. Just finishing up this footing here. It's about six yards. I think the footing was six and a half or something like that. See, he's got the laser on the back. The eye's perfect. Finishing this slam dunk up. He's just going to wet set it and set one block in. Here I am pulling the hose out. Once you pull it for a certain mere, uh, matter of time, you can just manhandle it. Now I'm pulling it back to wash it out. What you do is you, if you have mud in your hopper, you pump the hopper all the way down, but you don't cover the seats in the back. And then you fill it up with water three times and you hook it to a hook. A washout hook you put it back in the truck pump the water up in the truck and clean your whole system when you unclamp everything it's just there's no rock sand nothing in it 
I strapped the hook down now for about a decade. I just didn't didn't strap it. It plugged in the hook one time on me and flew off the back of the truck. So after 10 or 15 years of not strapping it, I strap it now because it can plug on top of that hook and it'll take off like a torpedo. I'm washing it out now. I, I washed it out at the same speed I pumped it at. And then when I get water, I turn it up wide, wide open and just blow the water through the system. So three three hoppers of water, that's about 90 gallons. I got water. You see me turn it all the way up. I turned it wide open. That's a pump boss remote on my side. You can turn it on, turn it off, speed it up, slow it down. It's a really good remote. It'll go up to 900 feet, but you don't want to pump at 900 feet. But that's how far that um, remote's rated at. Same with the pump. Farthest I go is like 500, 550 feet. I'm washing the back out because you can get sediment back there and it'll plug you up. So I just stick the hose up there while it's while it's pumping. It's a ball valve pump. It's a three eighths pea gravel pump. The three quarter inch rock hard rock pumps pump the big rock. They're they're a swing tube. There are just different mechanics in the back of the pump. It sucks and pushes. This has two pistons and four uh, discharge and intake balls and seats and it sucks and pushes each time so it flows like a water hose it flows evenly with a hard rock pump it there's a gap in between the stroke and that's about it that's about 35 minutes from start to finish wash out 300 bucks pumping's a super good um way to make a living southern california down by the beach the weather's not too hot the mixes are pretty good just roll the system up. I'm done down the road to the next one. I put the 50 footers by the tailgate and I put the 25 footers up by the cab because the 50 footers are heavier. There's a the washout hook. I just put it up the side. And that's a wrap pretty much. Just put the system back, get paid, and I'm down to the road to the next one. wrapping it up i hope you like the video if you have any questions about pumping concrete just write in and i pretty much ran every pump that, that's ever been made Pootsmeister, olin schwing ta i've had them all this olin box pump 545 that's what size it is it'll pump 45 yards an hour which that's four and a half loads an hour is pretty quick residential i mean you don't really need to you know i'll do 100 yards job no problem with it It'll pump any mix design too. So I'm just cleaning it up here and that's a day for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.